guys. So today's lesson is on compounding interest. When you compound interest, you calculate interest and add it back in your account. There's a formula we use that do, does that math so we don't have to do that act over and over and over and over and over again. And it's A equals P times 1 plus R divided by N to the exponent NT. A is the end amount. P is called the principal or the beginning amount. R is the interest rate as a decimal. N is the number of times compounding per year. And T is always time in years in this case. All right. Let's start with number one using this formula. Dave invests $300 in an account with a 5% interest rate. If he makes no other deposits or withdraws, find his account balance after 15 years if the interest is compounded with the following frequencies. So first, it's going to be compounded how often? Semi-annually. So we need to know what each one of these means because we'll have semi-annually, monthly, quarterly, daily. We'll go through it. So let's go one step at a time. First, P is the principal. What is the beginning amount that Dave has? 300. Next, uh, the interest rate as a decimal is 0 0.05. Next, uh, N, how many times per year is interest compounded? So semi-annually means how many times a year? Twice, exactly. Uh, and then lastly, T, how many years will it be in there? 15 years. And that's all you needed to know. So we're going to go 300 times 1 plus R, which is the rate as a decimal, divided by how many times per year? Twice. And that number, that N, repeats twice in the formula. So it's 2 in the denominator and then also 2 in the exponent. And then lastly, what also goes in the exponent, how many years? 15. All right, use your calculator right now, and then you're done. If you forgot your calculator, you can use your phone and open up Desmos and use that today. But on a exam or quiz, you wouldn't be allowed to use your phone. All right, 300, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2. The part that you need to be careful about is the exponent. If I just type in 2 times 15, the calculator will do it wrong because it will go order of operations and it will think the times 15 is not in the exponent. So how can I tell the calculator that 2 times 15 is in the exponent? Is it needs parentheses. And inside the parentheses, you're going to go 2 times 15. That tells the calculator that that whole thing, 2 times 15, is in the, cal in the exponent. All right. So how much money will be in the account? And we write it down. 600 and... $629 and 27 cents. Hey, part B. So part B, we have the same values. What's the difference in part B? Is that it's not semi-annually, but... So I'm going to ask you an important thinking question. Do you think if it's compounded monthly instead of semi-annually, do you think there'll be more money in his account after 15 years or less? Marilyn? I do have some batteries behind me. So why more? You can get up and get them. Why more? Because the more times you compound interest, right, the more money will be in your account. So because you're compounding more often, you'll have more money behind that whiteboard. So, I already did all the hard work, so only thing I have to change is what? N. Monthly means how many times per year is monthly? 
So now it's not 2, but is 12. So everything else stayed the same. So can you now type it in and see if there's more money in your account because you're compounding monthly and not uh, semi-annually? So I'm not going to retype everything in. That's like silly, right? So can I just go back and change the 2 to uh, 12? Is that easy? And then, is that true? Is there more? And there won't be like a lot more, but is it more? So it's six hundred and thirty-four dollars and eleven cents. Is that true? All right, number two. I want you to read number two. I want you to set it up, and then I'll set it up. Did it work? So we need to get a pass the library and get a new one if it's not working with new batteries. The, the, let's just keep them and see if the, if the batteries weren't the issue, then we can still use them, right? So just get, sign yourself a pass the library. Man, it just got my video just got really dark. All right, so I'm gonna try to figure out why it's so dark. Why the it has something to do with the camcorder itself. But um, did you set up number two? So do you understand? The more times you practice the formula, you'll remember it. Can you identify the beginning amount, the interest rate? How many times per year is it being compounded? And how many years will it be in? And can you use that to uh, calculate how much will be in the account? It did turn on? That's just crazy, right? How it does that? All right. Somehow, the shadows in my camera are not liking each other. So let's see if I just turn the lights on and give it some natural light. Maybe it will... Like lighten up somehow? I don't know what's happening. All right. It might be just more of an audio uh, thing than a camera thing. I don't know why it's not the light adjustment is so bad. <laughs> So no matter what I do, it's just getting darker, but I can see it. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Alright, so just listen to it. I don't know what's, what I'm going to do with this. But anyways, the initial amount is 2500 The interest rate is 8%, so it's 0 0.08. Quarterly, is that a new word for you? Any smart tech, tech people can figure out what I should do? I know, right? 
<laughs> it's not the projector, it's the camera, because I can see what's on there. It's not that issue. All right.